back. And now we're going to go far side. Okay? So it's a little bit different. So he's going to low level attack. Again, this is something that I have to beat his head. So instead of jamming and beating it so he can't circle and drive and then going outside his shoulder, I'm going to come across. Does everybody see how I'm taking an angle step? I'm not taking a side step. If I take a side step, I'll beat his head. His head will beat it, be every single time. I've got to beat his head. So right when he gets to this low single attack, I'm taking an angle step and my near hand. So if I got a right leg lead, my right hand is pulling his hip. Okay, so I'm going to take an angle step. My knee's going to cover his head and I'm going to go down to my left knee, left toe to this position. Lead leg's going to be straight. His head's going to be covered. My, my lead leg hand's pulling his hip and I'm going to stop right here. Okay, we got to make sure we have that motion down real good. So he low singles right here. Got to beat the head. So I'm taking an angle step. The hip pull is extremely important. Okay, because watch what it does when I cover his head with my knee and pull his hip. Watch where his drive leg goes. See this angle step that I'm taking? Big angle step. Knees driving all the way down to the mat. So I'm pulling the hip. Knees drive and drive and drive and drive and here. Okay, head's covered with my knee. I pulled his hip, crunched his drive leg knee to the mat. Toes in the mat, hands in the mat, other foot's in the mat. I'm athletic. This is important. It's almost like I'm trying to pull this guy all the way to his back. Every time I take that angle step and pull his hip, I'm trying to put him on his back. All right? And then as we do it faster, then we'll rip our leg back out just like we did on that low single to the near side. Any questions? So it's an angle step and a hip pull. Lead leg hand attacks the hip. All right? One more time. So he low singles. I'm just covering his head with my knee. Driving my chest back towards his drive leg. Hip pull. Everything's at one time. Okay, I don't dive then come back for his hip. Don't pull his armpit. Don't pull his ribs. Pull his hip. Because it compresses his body back towards his drive leg. When I can crunch him up in a tight ball, it's tough for him to generate power. And that's what we want to do when we're defending a leg, leg attack. See, I'm driving my knee down, driving my knee down, crunching, pulling. I don't want to be over his back draping. I want your chest all the way out here to where we can start attacking this foot if we need to. See how my lead leg straight covering his head, arm that's pulling the hip straight, knee and toe are in alignment under my chest. I'm athletic. My leg's not back here. Okay, I'm not athletic here. This is important. Get into this position. Questions? Angle step, hip pull, cover the head, beat the drive leg. Good? All right, let's go.